Meghan Markle's podcast series archetypes and the topics discussed during its episodes appear to be playing into the drama that faces the Duchess of Sussex, according to Roz Sheldon, public relations manager at Reputation Management Ignite. The PR expert believes the podcast, which since its launch has gained a good following and now regularly appears at the top of Spotify's charts, has the best intentions but, at times, it gives the impression to be a platform for the Duchess to push her agenda rather than host a conversation. The expert said, despite the Archetypes podcast having the best intentions, it's backed by Meghan's Archroll charity campaign to help women in need who have inspired or helped others in the US. The episodes and topics seem to be playing into the drama that faces Meghan. The episodes feel self-indulgent, there isn't a balance. Take, for example, Meghan's comments about appearing on Deal or No Deal and it making her not feel smart. That's her view, but there are a lot of women, including Meghan's co-star Claudia Jordan, who would say it was a smart move indeed to appear on that show, and it would be beneficial for Meghan to be aware of that. But on the podcast, which has a huge platform with a vast audience, it feels as though she is pushing her own agenda rather than having a conversation that might balance the narrative, something that she needs to do to redress her reputation. The topics Meghan is choosing to cover on the podcast, such as the demystification of a dragon lady, the duality of diva with the likes of Mariah Carey, also seem to be poking the reputational bear, causing drama and media attention. It's almost as though she's saying, I'm not a diva, I've been wrongly mislabeled and treated, but then adding to the wheel of drama with the content she's producing. Meghan Markle launched her podcast series in late August, Image, Getty, Meghan Markle during an engagement in South Africa in 2019, Image, Getty. Over the past six episodes of Archetypes, which aims to address and explore the labels that try to hold women back, Meghan has shared many personal memories and stories. While examining with tennis star Serena Williams the use of the word ambition when it comes to women, the Duchess seemingly criticized Buckingham Palace, which she accused of asking her and Prince Harry to carry on with their engagements during the first day of the royal tour to South Africa in September 2019 after a fire had broken out in the nursery where Archie Harrison, who remained unharmed, was meant to be sleeping. The Duchess also appeared to hit out at some Hollywood blockbusters and popular TV shows for their use of some of the tropes and labels she analyzed during her program. Most recently, the Duchess sparked a lively discussion about her stint at Deal or No Deal, recalling how she wasn't happy about the way the game show made her feel by focusing more on her look than her brain. Read more, Edward VIII made up cruel rumor about Queen Mother Meghan Markle and Prince Harry live in California, image, Getty, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are no longer senior royals, image, Getty. Mr. Sheldon also believes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex changed the perception the public had of them following their landmark interview with Oprah Winfrey, during which they opened up on their struggles as senior royals, discussed their relationship with some family members across the pond and raised damaging allegations of racism and neglect against the firm. This interview, the PR expert said, placed the couple under strong scrutiny. He continued, the current reputational issue they're facing is that they seem to be continuously cashing in on family strife, or in this case, with Meghan's podcast, playing up to or talking about things that will cause a public backlash and drama. People feel they are seemingly on a media world tour to always be telling their story. Of course, they are entitled to do interviews, podcasts, books or TV shows, but it comes with significant reputational risk. Don't Miss Meghan admits she was too trusting and open in bombshell interview, report, Sarah Ferguson dismissed daughter's Beatrice Eugenie signals, analysis, Mike Tyndall shares unusual nickname for wife Zara, insight, Meghan Markle's life in pictures, image, express, trending the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have spoken about their time as senior royals on a number of public occasions since they quit the firm in the spring of 2020. Weeks before the interview with Ms. Winfrey was aired in early 2021, Harry appeared on The Late Late Show with James Corden, where he discussed why he chose to leave England and the firm. 
In May last year, Harry seemed to criticize the upbringing given by his father King Charles during the podcast Armchair Expert and the mental health series he co-created for Apple TV+, Plus, The Me You Can't See. Most recently, Meghan spoke about her complicated relationship with the firm in a lengthy interview with The Cut magazine published in August. The Duke is now due to release his memoir, announced in July last year, which many royal watchers believe could contain more revelations and attacks against the royal family. Express.co.uk has contacted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex representative at Archwell for comment.